Hey guys, so it's uh, almost one o'clock here. Uh, I'm in PG County where I'm sitting in a community center place where it's like a pool, this and that. I'll show you, kind of behind me, see it? And then, and then I'm looking at all of this, which are these uh, stamped out McMansions made out of like basically paper walls, drywall, with a stone front siding all around. I can go on about so much of this stuff. And in the community center behind me, uh, they still have a big, huge sign that says six feet social distancing. Anyhow, so when I was getting the papers this morning, I walked around the supermarket and it's just in complete disarray. There's just boxes on the floor everywhere and low stock here. Apples were almost gone, no apples. And then the tomatoes, there's almost like no tomatoes. And then you go by past the egg section and the eggs are $7 now a dozen. Milk was up walking around and came past the pharmacist. And I said, Hey, um, I said, Hey, uh, did you guys hear about the CDC, uh, talking about strokes related to the vaccine? Well, first I said, are you guys still giving out the vaccine? You know, they, they said yes. And I said, well, that's amazing. I said, you know, they looked at me. The thing about it is, and they're wearing masks, of course, at the pharmacy because of the pharmacist, because they're the healthcare system and they're safe. And I was like, I was like, oh, you're still giving out the vaccine, huh? Well, I was like, did you hear about yesterday where they, the CDC is now, and they're like, hey, I don't know, it's all, oh, the ship has sailed, okay? But like, you know, there's something about dignity. There's something about saying, I'm not doing it because I know it's wrong. So, when I was looking at the pharmacists, because they came around, of course, I'm a guy asking questions and like, that's not allowed. And the lady that was there, like, I could see it in her eyes. You know, the eyes are the window to the soul. And so looking in her eyes, I said, you know, the CDC is now linking stroke to the vaccine. And she's looking at me, looking at her. And the guy's like, well, it starts talking, whatever the, whatever the, um, the script is. Oh, well, we give out the warning and I says well myocarditis is mainstream now stroke is mainstream now and everyone knows it's connected to this and you're still administering the shot you know he's looking at me I'm looking at him she's looking at me I'm looking at them I said so now you know because I'm telling you and you know because it's in the news and you can prop up the script and keep repeating the things but you're injecting people with something. How it's still legal, <laughs> I have no idea. But I said, you're you're still, you know, because when I first went up and asked, I said, hey, is the COVID shot available? Yeah, 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 it's available here. Blah blah blah. And I was like, well, did you know the CDC? And then and then and then, and then, and then the, the mood changed, and then it became like, oh, well, we give out the. I said, well, are you telling people? Are you telling people that the shot can cause myocarditis, pericarditis, stroke, heart attack, clearly cancer, and all sorts of other things where it just amplifies whatever you're already... Are you telling people? No, they're not. not you know, and it's, it's at a point where it's like self-respect, dignity, honor... I, I'm in my car, I'm in my car all the time and you know, I'm telling you, I'd rather have absolutely nothing, nothing, zero, than to cause harm on human beings and to know I did it. And they know now, you can see, that's what I'm trying to tell you, you can see it in their eyes. <laughs> and it was funny, my buddy who helps me get newspapers sometimes and you know, uh, it just so happened that I had that conversation with the pharmacist and he, I'm going to post the video. He went up and said the same thing, you know. And I truly, you know, I don't watch any TV anymore. My whole experience now is what I see with my own eyes, basically. And the, and the information I get from you guys that uh, reach out and text me and call me and send me messages and emails and stuff. And I keep up the best that I can. I mean, I get, it's normal for me to wake up 
my phone will say 50 to 100 new text messages. And I'm pretty good at getting back to people, actually. They tell me that. Like, I'm pretty good, although I just got a message from Rebecca's eyes in LA, and she's like, did you see my sinkhole video? I was like, I did. Anyway. It's just time for all of us to exit the matrix, start creating communities, only hanging out with similar believers because you're not, this system, it's going to fall and we all know it. And I'm out here in the world showing it to you. Um, but man, like I'm going to the play to Maryland now where there's a family and they're great patriots and they're good people. And like, that's where I spend my time. I can't do it. So I'm offering solutions and all this stuff with protecting assets. I mean, it's a no brainer. There's these, there's these, there's these biggest no brainers in the history of the earth and people on my channel and in the comments section are still making these excuses. Well, Richard, yeah. No, like it's the biggest, it's the biggest no brainer in the history of the earth to buy Americans. It's the biggest no brainer in the history of the earth to get a debit card that swipes against silver holding. It's like a no brainer in the history of the earth. And then you all, you all aren't doing it. It's like, it's like the, it's like the, uh, it's being sectioned off. And if you're not, if you're not doing it, if you're not, and it's not just me, it's many people telling me if you're not doing it and you're still sitting idly by and you're scrolling and watching these news stories and you're following all these characters who most of which are clueless. The reason I know what I know is because I'm out in the world I'm showing it to you through my lens. And my efforts is to protect you. I've met you. There's no one on the internet that's met as many of you as me. Nobody, I don't think. I mean, tell me who has. Tell me who's met thousands of people and slept at their houses and broken bread with them and had intimate conversations, transparent. I'm the only one that I think it has that experience. And when I tell you, you know, when I'm advising to do things, it's not because, you know, it, it's because you're stuck in your program of whatever the, the nonsense has been broadcast across the conservative network, white hats, black hats, gray hats, nonsense, militaries in control, nonsense. All that happens is the AI reads what we're commenting about and then it throws out a new character to distract you. What's really happening is most of the population got a vaccine. The Medicare system is still getting new customers because they're administering the vaccine. And most of us are still, and not me, I mean, I just do it because I'm out in the world and I want to show you what's happening because that's, that's just my part that I'm playing, right? I'm not playing, I mean, it's about my real life, but I'm saying like that's, it fascinates me because I've been in a, outside salesman my entire life where I went to these types of houses and sold them products and I'm watching what's happening and so many of you are tuning like when I tell you to buy American like you should just go do it what price would you pay what price would you pay for once a month in your community to have a get together with 50 people that share the same mindsets as you in real person with your phones down what what's that worth to you because that's already happening if you join up with some of these things what price would you pay to protect your your wealth um by, by having securities backed by and, and holding up in the digital mainframe that we're, that, that exists. I mean, I'm looking right now and I see a hundred cars, maybe a hundred cars, all these big mansion houses and these people are all lost. Not, I mean, maybe there's some of them, but it's telling you. All in DC Metro, everywhere you go, there's a six foot social distance. They still have the Stickers on the floor, keep your distance. All the grocery stores still have all the plastic up, the gas stations, the plastic dividers, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not going away. So we have to exit. I'm, I'm gonna exit, I got a plan. But you need one. And the way you do it is to click the links I'm telling you and get the information from patriots that are trying to help you, including me. Because it's a total disaster out here and you can get involved with people that are building something new in parallel to this and if you're not doing it it's your loss at this point and just continue to watch this nonsense <laughs> I mean the yellow buses are still taking children to school and indoctrinating them ring a bell and I'll salivate 
Raise your hand to talk. Easter Bunny, Santa Claus, Tooth Fairy. You're lying to your children. I'm not interested in that part of the matrix anymore. Anyway, that's just a little rant for me today. And I'm not trying to be negative because there's a lot of good things happening. I was on a Zoom call. Thousands of people last week were on it. Many people were gathered. It was fun. And there's trips involved and there's exciting things happen. And so you've really got to start taking part in that. Because this out here that I'm looking at, it's a train wreck. And there's no one with a solution. There's nothing coming to fix. It can't even be fixed. It's just going to crash around you. It's already happening. Your relationships have crashed. You're divided from your family. So it's just all coming back to God. It's an all coming back to people that are like-minded and getting together and building something new. Anyway, gosh, 11 minutes. Those are my thoughts here on Saturday afternoon. So thanks for watching. <laughs>